But first tonight, in March, the owner of five of Maine's six daily newspapers announced he is looking for a new owner for them. Reed Brower said that at the age of 66, he's ready to move on and would be looking for an outcome that's best for, in his words, all stakeholders, including the employees, the readers, the state of Maine. Brewer's masthead media group includes the Portland Press Herald and the daily papers in Lewiston, Brunswick, Augusta, and Waterville, as more than 20, as, more, as well as more than 20 weekly newspapers around the state. One potential buyer has already emerged, and it's an unconventional one. The newly formed Maine Journalism Foundation, a nonprofit which hopes to raise $15 million to buy masthead media and support other newspapers in Maine. Retired Portland Press Herald columnist Bill Nemitz and retired broadcasting executive Emily Barr of Cape Elizabeth are two of the three members of the board of the Maine Journalism Foundation. Their goal, they say, is nothing less than to preserve and strengthen newspapers and with them, Maine's way of life. The last two decades have been ugly for American daily and weekly newspapers. More than a quarter of them have gone out of business. The number of newspaper journalists has dropped even more dramatically, from 74,000 in 2006 to 30,000 in 2020. Many of those jobs have been slashed by investors who bought newspapers, investors with little interest in quality journalism. And they come into a market, particularly a newspaper that's doing well, and the first thing they do is extract as much money from that newspaper as they can to get to maximize the immediate return on their investment. Translation, you lose half your newsroom staff. Translation beyond that, you know, your local news dries up to a trickle. The Maine Journalism Foundation wants the masthead media newspapers to avoid that fate. We just want news in Maine to be not only sustained, but to really be invigorated in a time when I think the country needs it. Because, you know, if you don't have a strong news environment, you don't have a strong democracy. The goal of the Maine Journalism Foundation is to buy the newspapers, but not run them. That job would be left to the newspaper staffs. And it's important to note that we didn't invent this idea. Now, nonprofit news, which is what we're about, is now not only taking root, but flourishing in many places around the country. We, Baltimore, Chicago, uh, Salt Lake City. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, just last week. How much money do you hope to raise? Well, what we'd like to do and what we've said publicly is that we'd like to raise $15 million. Because if we had that, we would be able to not only acquire the papers, but we'd also have enough running, running room you know, to really make sure that the, the papers and what we do with them digitally have you know, the, the capital to, to move forward. So that would be the ideal $15 million. How challenging has it been <laughs> as you start to test the waters and ask people, can you write us a check? What kind of a response are you getting? Well, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. The money comes a little slower. We've got a lot of interest, but not yet a lot of money. People keep telling us that there is tons of money in Maine, and uh, we're aware of that. Uh, I have kind of equated it to Bigfoot, you know? You know he's out there. <laughs> Your job is to find him. Is Reed Brower amenable? If you can raise the money, is this pretty close to a done deal? We're not asking for special treatment here. It's Reed's That's property. It's Reed's decision as to what he's going to do. Uh, we're asking for if we can demonstrate sufficient traction uh, in a short time, we're asking for a seat at that table because we think that what we bring is unique to this situation relative to the other potential suitors. When newspapers disappear or are gutted, think of all the stories that go uncovered. Everything from high school sports to political shenanigans. You spent four plus decades working in journalism in Maine, some of that time as an editor, but mostly as a reporter and as a columnist. What does it feel like for you to have to go ask people for money? It goes against every instinct <laughs> I ever had, I'll tell you. And I have been involved in nonprofits before. When I was asked to come on these boards, my going in message was, I'll do whatever you want, but I can't raise money. Because being a journalist, you know, there's obvious conflicts there. So I'm no longer shackled by that anymore, and uh, it's, it's, it's a brave new world for me, uh, but... Uh, He's doing a great job. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at it. He's a natural. What's the timetable? How quickly do things have to happen? Our goal is in the, in the coming weeks, not months, 
uh, to raise, we're, we're thinking about 5 million of the 15. Uh, I think that will demonstrate primarily to our audience of one, that being Reed Brower, but also to the community at large that we are serious and that we really believe we can do this. Emily, this is an ambitious undertaking. Maine has never seen anything like it before. How confident are you that you can pull this off? Well, I don't usually go into things if I don't think I can get it done. Um, sometimes you gotta take a big swing. I think this is a big swing, but it's a big swing for a really important reason. Bill, this is a big change for you, as oh, we've yeah. talked about, a, oh, yeah. a real mm -hmm. different course that you're pursuing. Why was this cause so important that you decided that you would devote yourself to it? Well, first I, I tell people, uh, in addition to my family, I've had two love affairs my entire adult life, and one is journalism, the other is Maine. And they are both inextricably tied to this cause. So that's what motivates me, is the sense that, uh, it's why I've been in newspapers my whole life. It's because I've always loved the way a newspaper anchors a community, reflects a community, and engages a community. And I just, it would kill me to see that go away. You may be wondering, what about the Bangor Daily News, the only daily paper in Maine that is not part of Masthead Media? Well, the Maine Journalism Foundation says its aim is to provide financial and journalistic support to all newspapers in Maine, including the BDN, not just those it hopes to buy. And by the way, Bill Nemitz says that Maine is the only state in the country whose newspapers have all in-state ownership, every one of them. That's huge. If you would like to support the Maine Journalism Foundation or just find out more about it, head to the 207 section of our website or our app.